What's up, people? Vernal Kaliks here. What's going on, everybody? How you guys doing? Sorry for the jade of introduction. Um, here, back with another video. And yes, I am in my, my new apartment, which is in Stoughton, Stoughton, Massachusetts, in Boston. So I'm glad to be back in my hometown, Massachusetts. And a lot of things I have yet to come, which I can't wait for. So I'm excited. I'm excited to be back here. I feel like it is awesome to be in Boston and for over... 12 weeks I think I have not made a YouTube video from this camera and the last YouTube video I made was from my phone which barely did get uploaded which I did remember so I did do a couple uploads from my camera and I guess I have some videos from there so especially I remember the video, the upload I did was with the get together with um we helped the four women over so we had four guys over kind of felt like a double date a little bit so that's what I'm excited about. So glad it happened from there. So for the most part. So um feels great to be um feels so great to be back here and I've been going to the gym and I don't know how much weight I lost, but it's been almost four years since I've been making my YouTube videos. I started in February two thousand ten. A little bit of inspiration from J Dub who who's the guy uh first YouTube video I have saw it and how YouTube has expanded to webcam and YWC and so many YouTube interactions since then. So, glad to be back. So, my absence, you know, to explain my absence from blogging. I haven't blogged in weeks and honestly, I have been busy, but haven't been too busy, but you know, haven't been haven't been willing to jump into it. Had other ridiculous endeavors going on including the gym and you know, I play video games, so I enjoy playing that so much. That was uh, my silly hiatus, which has been going on for almost weeks now. And the last blogging I did was when uh, five, which was still a slow start. So it looked from what it looked like from them with the Panthers, I could say that was the last blog I did. I thought the Panthers were gonna get back on the climb if if I could see that happening, and they continue to regroup. They're one of those teams now I can see coming in the future that they're gonna have, have a slow start. Look like they're gonna have a they're going to look like they're not going to be as strong as a team you think they would be. But as the season drags on, they've managed to pick it up and take advantage of what they have. Starting to become this 7-3 and three strong team that they are right now with their six-game winning streak. And they have been very impressive. Their defense has been really coming into play. And that's where to start off. Their defense has been what's coming into play. And that's what's really helping them. Last year, they were, I think, 2-9 and nine or 3-9. and nine, And they, they won their rest of their games. And they finished off 7-9. and nine. So, yeah, they had a strong finish, and now this statement that they're making here has been really showing a, a ton of significance. And for the Saints, the Saints, their offense continues to dominate, proven danger. They did get their revenge from their playoff loss against the 49ers, which I am so steamed about. And it sucks It sucks to hear that, you know, um, that 49ers did loss. I don't know, I think it was an over, no, it was their game-winning uh, field goal. And Baltimore Ravens lost as well. They are currently 4-6. and six. Harbaugh Brothers still having their downfall. But luckily enough for the 49ers, they're still in this playoff race. And they still continue to be the team they were the past two years. Unfortunately, um, and with the position they're in and the players that they've got kind of can come to play. With the Seahawks 10-1 and one, and then with Arizona also above 500, they have been facing some quiet challenges. The, the playoff race still looks... Uh, kind of in reach but the division race seems a little out of reach with Seahawks 10 and 1. They have continued to be this dominant team and I could see them returning in the Super Bowl if that is to happen. I don't know if the last time they were in the Super Bowl against the Steelers but unfortunately lost. And they were I think the last time was when they were they used to be an AFC team and then moved to the NFC which I didn't notice they were an AFC team. That's why Raiders Chiefs are kind of their rivals. Um, and to say Tampa Bay and Atlanta are facing their class. Actually, Tampa Bay actually won two games in a row. So, in Atlanta, I am sorry to hear that, but I am shaking my head. Atlanta, you know, won two games, but unfortunately, after their Monday night loss and their slow start after losing to the Saints, uh, Tony Gonzalez has to retire. I can't I think he's going to pull a Brett Favre and try and come back again. I'm sorry. I just cannot see that happen, which is unfortunate, and... I'm going to go ahead and call spade a spade. Atlanta, I don't think they have any chance of winning their division again. Let alone the fact that they didn't even make the playoffs. 
for some reason, if they, they pull off what the Saints pulled last year after they had a slow start, they picked it up, finished 7-9, and nine, and then Sean Payton came back with the team, and now they're back to being the strong team they used to be, which was hard to believe. So, unfortunately, you know, it sucks to, to say that, you know, the Saints, you know, I think they have this division, but Carolina Panthers, I think, are climbing up there. So I think the division is leading to the fight between Carolina Panthers and the New Orleans Saints. And as unfortunate as it sounds, Tampa Bay and Atlanta, I'm going to go ahead and call the spade a freaking spade. They're not in any shot of winning their division from what it looks like. Depending on what schedule they have, and I might have to get to that, you know, in my next video. Atlanta and Tampa Bay, you know, by some miracle, they're going to make the playoffs. I, I don't see that happening. As much as it's hard to believe... I don't see that happening unless Tampa Bay and Atlanta regroup. And Atlanta's on that same downfall as the Texans. And I'm going to get back to that a little bit later. NFC North, Packers in Chicago and Lions are kind of there. <clears throat> Hopefully Aaron Rodgers can recover. Then they can somehow um, get at 500 or a little bit above. But if one of the backup quarterbacks can at least pick up one win, I think that's that's what they really, really need to look for, one or two then the, the playoff race is still alive in there. Unfortunately, the division, NFC North, is not going to be above 500, the whole division. But three out of four is going to be above, which is hard to believe. But for the most part, Minnesota, I think they're going to be 4-12, and 12, I think. Atlanta Falcons, I think they're going to be a 6-10 and 10 team. Atlanta Falcons, I think 5-11 and 11 or 6-10. and 10. But for the most part, realistically, they might be four and twelve. But I see them six and ten. But I have to look at their schedule. But uh, yeah, same thing with the Vikings. Vikings may be like four and twelve, which is hard to believe. Well, yeah. So Packers, Lions, and Bears, I think, are in their playoff race. And Lions did have their disappointing season last year. Had a good offense, defense. You know, really kind of was disappointing. The rushing. Offense, I don't think it was too great either. So, Reggie Bush was a great acquisition. He is on my fantasy team, even though my fantasy team sucks. I'm going to go ahead and call Spade a Spade once again. They're 3 and 8, and probably some slight mistakes I did a little bit, but probably the tougher teams I fought in the fantasy football league really kind of come into effect. So, that's what I have to say from here for the most part. And then the Eagles, Dallas, I got to say the NFC North, NFC East, their division is awful. Well, it doesn't look too awful, but still is awful. And you notice the past two years of how the Giants always try to, well, Redskins actually clinched the division last year, winning three in a row. Winning actually seven or eight in a row, finishing ten and six. So they pulled that same run the Giants did the year before, when Giants had that slow start and they finished nine and seven. What a slump of a division, I have to say, and I kind of shake my head on that. They were one of the four best teams, and they were a wild card team, but they were division leaders, which is hard to believe as they marched into the Super Bowl and got the victory over New England, as much as it sucks to hear that. So that's what I got to say to that for the NFC division. And yeah, for the most part, I really, I think the Seahawks really have their run on the best team division. Pete Carroll, Russell Wilson, Marshawn Lynch, I really put on a tear. So I'm impressed to see that. So see this video in a bit. Peace out.